Welcome to the first video on Digital Logic Design Lectures. In Digital Logic Design, we design a logic to construct digital systems such as headers or memories. The building blocks of these digital systems that process signal or information are digital circuits. Letters, numbers and characters make up this information. So what exactly are digital circuits? Digital circuits include logic gates such as AND and OR gates. These are the symbol of AND and OR gates. These circuits handle discrete voltage levels which are represented by 0 and 1. A single bit such as 0 or 1 does not carry much information. As a result, group of bits can be used to describe numbers, letters and characters that are part of this signal or information being processed by digital systems. In this video, we will look at how group of bits can be used to represent number. In future videos, we will look at how group of bits can be used to represent characters and letters. Therefore, number systems is the subject of this video. Decimal, binary and hexadecimal are three types of number systems. Working with decimal numbers is second nature to us. Binary or hexadecimal numbers are often more convenient in digital systems of ones and zeros. Decimal numbers are our first subject in this video. You learn to count and do decimal arithmetic in grade school. There are 10 digits in the decimal number system 0, 1, 2, so on and 9. Longer decimal numbers are found by joining decimal digits together. The column weights in decimal number system are 1, 10, 100, 1000 and so on from right to left. In longer decimal numbers, decimal digit in each column has 10 times the weight of the previous column. Therefore, base 10 is a term used to denote decimal numbers. To avoid confusion when operating in multiple bases, the base is indicated by a subscript after the number. Decimal number 9532 base 10 can be written as a sum of each of its digit multiplied by the weight of the corresponding column. N digit decimal number represents one of 10 raised to power n possibilities that is 0, 1, 2, 3, so on, 10 raised to power n minus 1. This is called the range of the number. For example, a three digit decimal number represents one of thousand possibilities in the range of 0 to 999. Our second subject in number systems is binary number. In binary numbers, each digit is called a bit, which is represented by one of two values, that is 0 or 1, and are joined together to form binary number. Each column of a binary number has twice the weight of the previous column. So binary numbers are base 2. In binary, the column weights from right to left are 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32 and so on. An n bit binary number represents one of 2 raised to power n possibilities that is 0, 1, 2, 3, so on, 2 raised to power n minus 1. This table shows 1, 2 and 3 bit binary numbers and their decimal equivalents. 2 bit binary number represents one of four decimal numbers that is 0 to 3. Hence decimal numbers greater than and equal to 4 cannot be converted into 2 bit binary numbers. 3 bit binary number represents one of eight decimal numbers that is 0 to 7. Hence decimal numbers 8, 9, 10 and so on cannot be converted into 3 bit binary numbers. Our third topic in number systems is hexadecimal number. Writing long binary numbers becomes tedious and prone to error. Hence, it is sometimes more convenient to work in base 16, which is called hexadecimal. Hexadecimal numbers use digits 0 to 9 along with the letters A to F. Columns in base 16 have weights of 1, 16, 16 square, 16 cube and so on. This table shows the conversion between hexadecimal decimal and binary numbers. Note that hexadecimal letters A and F are equivalent to 10 and 15 respectively in decimal number system. 
We will now go through some examples which explain the conversion from one number system to another. Example 1 is binary to decimal conversion. In this example, we will convert the binary number 10011 base 2 to decimal equivalent. So, for this purpose, multiply each bit in binary number with its column weight. In other words, multiply each bit in binary number with the base raised to power column number. Remember that column number in number systems always start from 0 and increase from right to left. So, decimal equivalent of 10011 base 2 is 19 base 10. Example 2 is decimal 2 binary conversion. In this example, we will convert the decimal number 18 base 10 to binary equivalent. So, working from the right, repeatedly divide the number by 2. The remainder goes in each column. For example, 18 divided by 2 is equal to 9. So, remainder is 0, which goes to the 1's column. 9 divided by 2 is equal to 4. So, remainder is 1, which goes to the 2's column. 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. Remainder is 0, which goes to the 4's column. 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1 and remainder is 0 which goes to the 8's column. Finally, 1 divided by 2 is equal to 0 with a remainder of 1 going to the 16's column. Therefore, answer is 10010 base 2. Example 3 is hexadecimal to binary and decimal conversion. In this example, we will convert the hexadecimal number AF base 16 to binary and to decimal. Conversion between hexadecimal and binary is easy because hexadecimal digit directly corresponds to four binary digits. For example, A base 16 is equal to 1010 base 2 and F base 16 is equal to 1111 base 2. Hence, number AF 16 is equal to 10101111 base 2. For conversion to decimal, multiply each digit in hexadecimal number with the base raised to power column number, and the result comes out to be 175 base 10. Example 4 is binary to hexadecimal conversion. In this example, binary number 1001110 base 2 is converted to hexadecimal. For this purpose, start reading from the right, pick a set of 4 bits and convert it to hexadecimal equivalent. Then pick next 4 bits, convert it to hexadecimal equivalent and so on. For example, from the right, the first set of 4 bits is 1110 base 2, which is equivalent to E base 16. The next set of 4 bits from the right is 100 base 2, which is equivalent to 4 base 16. Hence, binary number is equivalent to 4e base 16. Example 5 is decimal to hexadecimal and binary conversion. In this example, decimal number 222 base 10 is converted to hexadecimal and binary. To convert to hexadecimal, work from the right, repeatedly divide the number by 16. The remainder goes in each column. For example, 222 divided by 16 is equal to 13. Therefore, 13 base 16 goes to the 1's column and remainder is 14 base 16 which cannot be further divided by 16. Therefore, it goes to 16's column. Hence, answer is DE base 16 which is the hexadecimal equivalent of 13 and 14. Decimal to binary conversion is already explained in example 2 and first two steps are shown here for the viewer to begin with. Our next topic is bytes and nibbles. A byte is a set of 8 bits. It is one of the 2 raised to power 8 is equal to 256 possibilities. Bytes, not bits, are used to calculate the size of objects stored in computer memories. A nibble is a group of 4 bits or half a byte. It is one of the 16 possibilities. One nibble is stored in one hexadecimal digits and two nibbles are stored in two hexadecimal digits or one byte. Data is handled by microprocessors in chunks called word, the size of which may range from one byte to multiple bytes. 
The architecture of microprocessor determines the size of a word. The majority of computers have 64-bit processors, which means they work with 64-bit or 8-byte words. Within a group of bits, the bit in the ones column is called the least significant bit which is noted by small letters LSP and the bit at the leftmost end is called the most significant bit which is noted by small letters MSP. Similarly within a word, the bytes are identified as least significant byte which is noted by capital LSP through most significant byte which is noted by capital MSP. Note that 2 raised to power 10 is equal to 1024, which is nearly equal to 1000. Hence, the term kilo indicates 2 raised to power 10. For example, 1024 bits is called a kilobit, which is noted by KB or KBit, and 1024 bytes is called a kilobyte, which is noted by capital KB. Similarly, capital MB, capital M small b, Capital GB and capital G small b are used for millions and billions of bytes and bits respectively. Memory capacity is usually measured in bytes and communication speed is usually measured in bits per second. This is where we will put an end to this lecture. See you in the next video.